If you have a Pontiac Vibe or a Toyota Matrix that looks similar to this one, if you look under the hood and see this tag, 1.8 liter engine, and your engine looks like this, then you are at the right place if you're having difficulties starting this vehicle. I'm gonna show you how to check the wiring going to the starter and how to replace the starter if it's bad. The starter is located in the very front of the engine. This is the oil filter to give you a reference. Right there is the starter solenoid. Right there. And we need to get this wire off right here, this little wire. All you do is squeeze this connector right there and push it off. Here's our wire right here on unhooked, disconnected. The way to set your test light up, the easiest way is just to take a piece of wire that is stripped on both ends. Clip it right here. You can take electrical tape if you want, put it around this. I'm gonna take our wire right here and stick it into that connector right there, the end. Important step, you cannot have this metal touching the engine or any metal or ground anywhere. So I got it on this hose here, so it cannot touch metal. You will ruin things if this gets grounded. The other end of the test light, find a clean ground on your engine somewhere and stick it to it. A lot of people do this the opposite way. They'll put your clamp here and they'll have a special connector for the other end and stick it in there. We're doing a DIY, so we're gonna do it this way. Make it easier for you guys at home. Now I'm gonna go up and turn the key over like I'm wanting to crank this car, like I'm wanting to start it. And if the light comes on while I'm cranking the car, while I'm trying to start it, that means all the wires and circuitry going to the starter are good. And you most likely have a bad starter or a locked up engine or something. Crank, 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 crank. I'm gonna try and start it again. Crank, 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 crank. I'm gonna try and start it again. Crank, 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 crank. If you are concerned about your engine being locked up or you don't know anything about it, somebody else's vehicle, just turn this pulley right here and make sure everything's free. On this little car, you can just do it by hand. You know, see there, engine's turning so she ain't locked up, which I already knew that. I've determined the starter's bad, so now we'll disconnect this negative battery terminal. It's a 10 millimeter socket or wrench, whatever you have laying around, adjustable wrench. What difference does it make? As long as you get it off. And put it where it doesn't spring back and touch it. So you'll have issues if it does that. So move it out of the way. Here's your throttle cable. If you look down through this hole right here, there's a 14 millimeter bolt right there. See it? 14 millimeter socket. This is a six inch extension and you'll just slide it up through here, creep through this wiring and you'll be able to stick it right on that bolt. This is the worst bolt of the whole job. Back underneath the car, we'll just peel this boot back right here to access the nut. 12 millimeter socket should fit this one. A 14 millimeter right there. A three inch extension with a ratchet and a 14 millimeter shallow socket's what I used. A little wiggle and jiggle and she'll come out of there. Might have to go from the top to get it out. Probably the best way, but I doubt I'll do it the best way. If you're ever unsure of how many bolts or the location of them, just look at your new part. So long as they gave you the right one, you should have a little guide there of knowing where everything fits. Both mounting bolts need to be finger tight first before you snug them down tight. I'm going to show you this little trick I do. Many people will not approve of it. I take Teflon tape sometimes and just wrap it around the socket. They make magnetic sockets, which, which would be awesome. And there's other ways. People might stick something in the socket to help it stick. A lot of people have all kinds of su suggestions on this, on how to hold the bolt in. Just holds it in there kind of temporary so you don't lose it. And yeah, when you rip this off, there'll be a little of that Teflon tape left on there. I don't think it's a big deal. Just wanted to share my goofy little tip. It's bailed me out many times. Everything just goes back together in the reverse order. Is the silver bullet going to continue to provide me transportation? Let's see. 
Yes, she is. If you have found value in this video and you're able to do it, consider hitting the buy apart button. If you have found value in this video but you're broke like me, you can still help. Hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and tell all your friends. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.